I, I have, I honestly have a confession. I have a confession. I'm going to confess. I have been in many awkward situations, and most of those situations are because of me. I mean, everyone's been in awkward situations, <laughs> haven't they? I'm not extremely awkward compared to, like, the most awkward person in the world. The worst situation for me is going up to someone that I've known and starting a conversation. It usually goes something like this. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's up? So, uh, what did you have for, like, in, in between breakfast and lunch? Like, uh, like, like, brunch? Or... Lekfist? And usually they don't reply. And it's... it's awkward. So I'm gonna tell you a few situations that I've been in that has been awkward. And some I have caused on purpose, and some I have not caused on purpose. Here you go. So I have a private class outside of my home, regular homeschool schedule that is a biology class. One time after school, I was just trying to blend in, still being awkward. And these are with people I don't know, so it's even worse than with someone I do know. And I'm just standing there, and uh, these kids were playing with these little boards. And it wasn't a skateboard. It was a, tr a square about, like, this big. And it has wheels on the bottom. It had four wheels on the bottom that were in each corner of the square, and it had handles on the side. Pretty sure it wasn't used for laying on or sitting on or jumping on, but uh, that's what the kids were doing. So I was like, all right, I, I can do this. So I grabbed one of these boards, and um, someone came up to me, a, a boy about my age, and he asks me, Hey, can I borrow that board, Juarez? Juarez. This boy thinks my name is Juarez. So I'm like, yes, you can take it, man. I don't even care if you have it. I just, I was gonna go over there and do something else, man. It was awkward. It was very awkward. Because I was just left standing there, boardless. So, number two, the next scenario that I have where I've been in another awkward situation is, coincidentally, I was on my scooter. I have a scooter. Yes. And I'm proud. So I was outside on my scooter doing a whole bunch of cool tricks, you know? And uh, I see a group of high schoolers. Seniors, in fact. And the last place you want to be in the presence of a group of seniors is on your scooter in your driveway doing tricks alone. So I know some pretty sweet tricks on my scooter. I know, like, the bunny hop and the wheelie and... Yeah, that's it. I know the bunny hop and the wheelie. So I'm trying to impress these high schoolers, and I'm giving it all I've got, okay? I'm doing tricks that I haven't even tried yet. Kick flips. 180s. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressive. So they say, hey, Andrew. And I'm like, are they talking to me? Hey! Okay, I panicked. I knew my name wasn't Andrew or Juarez. It was Matthew. So I decided to be very bold, and I'm going to drive past these high schoolers. And right beside me, I did. they didn't wait till I go inside or anything. Right beside me, they're like, oh yeah, that's not Andrew. That's not Andrew. No, that's not Andrew. That's, that's some weirdo, some kid. Some weirdo kid that has a scooter. It was awkward, okay? I rode into my garage on my scooter and went inside. How come people can't call me Matthew? By my real name, my legal name, on my birth certificate. Now the next story has nothing to do with my name. So I was at a friend's house, and he has this like scooter slash skateboard, and the name of the vehicle is the Landshark. It's basically the best invention ever. 
So I'm riding this land shark, and I have the urge to make someone feel awkward. Okay, that just means I'm awkward. So as I'm riding the land shark, this man comes out of his house, and he's looking very depressed. He's not looking like he's having a good day. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna make this guy's day. So I gave one big push on that land shark, and I went flying. And as I'm going past this guy's house, I scream one word. Land shark. Land shark! Wow! Then I come to a slow stop. And I get up and walk away. So post in the comments if you've ever been in an awkward situation before. Please give me a high five and subscribe and see you later.